Welcome. My name is Scott, and this is a brand new uh, fragrance channel called Music City Fragrance. I am in Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, and uh, I'm a musician, I'm a lover of art, and I happened to come across fragrances at the beginning of the pandemic last year, watching YouTube videos like so many people. I probably have bought 35 or 40 since the start of the pandemic and smelled another 100 or so in department stores. I am by no means, I am by no means an expert. But what I want to do is I've discovered some stuff along the way so far. And I've learned a little bit about fragrances, what I like, what I dislike. And uh, I feel like there's always people coming on the fragrance train and uh, you never know where they're at on their journey. Yeah, oh, that's my cat, I don't know if you'll see my cat. <laughs> but uh, so I think there's something to be learned from anybody, even if they've smelled every fragrance on planet Earth and own a couple thousand, or if they're like me and you own a few dozen, but you're smelling them and you're a little bit further down the path. There's people, like I say, that can learn from everybody. So that's what this is gonna be about. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna compare fragrances to music in some cases. I'm gonna bring some of my musician friends on board. I'm gonna have some giveaways. But today, we're gonna kick it off with one that I've heard about since I started, Tommy Bahama. St. Bart's, and one that I just heard about the other day on GenSense, this is from Guess, it's Seductive Ohm Blue, and uh, these were cheapies at my local TJ Maxx. I'm gonna check them out, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts and tell you about them in just a second. All right, let's take a look at the first one here. I'm gonna start with the, the tried and true, the standard, the one that everybody knows about. This is called St. Bart's. And if you look it up, the, I guess it was previously called Set Sail St. Bart's. And, um, and maybe they had to take the Set Sail part off for a liability reasons or something, because I don't know if you've ever actually looked at a map, but St. Bart's is a long ways away. So if you were to like just get in your dinghy or your schooner or your rowboat or whatever and actually set sail for St. Bart's, you'd probably die. Um, but it's very, it's closer to South America than it is to uh, the United States by far. So it's down there by Montserrat and uh, anyway, but St. Bart's, but this is supposed to be a, a vacation in a bottle, right? Isn't that what everybody says? It's got a little palm tree on the back here that's kind of uh, indented. It's got a cap. It's a very cheap plastic cap with some uh, safety line around it. So if you're, you know, if, I guess if you're on your boat with this, get some kind of a problem with the main mast or anything, there you go. Or if somebody goes overboard, you just take that little cord off and throw it to them, you're gonna save a life. Anyway, but let's take a smell of this. Um, uh, you can check this out on uh, the web and see what it's supposed to be about. It's a citrus aromatic, salty, marine. Conifer is listed as one of the main accords. Sweet, also boozy, and uh, it's supposed to be like a margarita a little bit, right? Uh, the uh, notes in the fragrance include uh, lime, tequila, sea notes, agave, that's tequila, right? The uh, main ingredient. In the mids, you've got salt, guava, green notes, and in the base, palm leaf, vanilla, and musk. Of course, van uh, it's vanilla, vanilla, I think is what really it should be here in America, but uh, we'll play the game. And uh, so this is it. We're gonna take a smell here. Uh, I have worn this, and so I've, I've got something to say about the longevity as well. Um, but I'm gonna spray a couple sprays on, give you my opinion. It's, it's, I, I think it's got a nice atomizer. It, it spreads nicely. So there it is. And it, I tell you what, right out the gate, it's very fruity. You get a ton of that lime. It, you really do. It's, it's very, very, and you can get some salt. There's definitely a little bit of salt there. You can smell these things. The C, I'll tell you what, the C note for me, the C note for me with St. Bart's uh, kind of comes in as it dries down because what typically happens, I don't know if you've bought some fresh with citrus in them fragrances, what you'll find is that these kind of zingy, tangy top notes, limes, lemons, the, the bright citrus uh, accords, they dissipate quicker and it will dry down to something a little fresher. When I think of it in terms of music, I think of like the top notes being the highest notes. Top notes have the shortest wavelength, so they they dissipate the quickest. They don't travel the furthest, the farthest. Uh, bass notes tend to resound and 
linger and they can go through solid objects and so anyway that's what you've got with this with this one it stays pretty linear no matter how long you leave it on you're going to always get some of the some portion of everything it gets it gets more to the fresher it loses some of that top end but it stays pretty much like it is when you first spray it throughout the life of the fragrance i in fact sprayed it last night went to bed woke up this morning and I could still smell it on my arm and even uh, into the morning until I took a shower, worked out a little bit and took a shower, I could still smell it. I would get a whiff. So that's shocking. I sprayed it twice on my arm last night and I could still smell it this morning. Now, would it project? I don't know about that, but I could still smell a little bit of it. So uh, longevity of this for a $20 fragrance is what I paid for it. It's pretty impressive. Um, and it did. After 8, 10, 12 hours, it reminded me of lying by a pool. It definitely did. You know, you kind of get that just whatever it is when you're around the pool in Vegas or in Florida or whatever, you know, there's people with their suntan lotion and their cocktails and the chlorine from the pool and the air and the whatever. It definitely does do that. So it's, it smells really good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear it, especially here in the summertime. The next one is from Guess. And this one... By the way, the theme kind of is blue bottle here. This one, this one though, is blue. And I feel like the, the bottle represents, the color represents pretty well what this is because it is a fresh, sweet fragrance. It's called Seductive Ohm Blue. And let's take a smell of this. Now, this is... Ashton made fun of the lid. I, I think the lid's actually very good. It's not, it's plastic for sure, but mine snaps on pretty tightly. Now this is the 50 ml and I paid $14.99 for this at my local TJ Maxx about three miles from my house. So let's spray this on and see what we get. That's a nice atomizer as well. It is dripping down quite a bit of juice there coming out. And it's much sweeter. It's much sweeter, but you do get some, you do definitely get some citrus in this one as well. It's aromatic, warm, spicy, fresh spicy is two different kinds of spicy, and it is spicy. You can definitely, it it's, um, reminds you of uh, maybe baking a little bit, some uh, like cinnamon rolls. I don't, it doesn't have cinnamon in it anywhere, but um, it sort of reminds me of that. Marine, woody, sand, citrus, savory. Mossy, salty, some of the other accords that are listed. Notes include cardamom, that's the sweetness. Black pepper, so we do have some spice. Caviar, citrus. I know I've only had caviar once in my life and I put ketchup on it. So um, mid notes, C notes, geranium. I mean, there's definitely a little floral action there. there it's, uh, it's very nice. Base, you've got cashmere wood, sand, and moss. And I want to say, you know, as this dries down, you're going to get a lot of sand. I mean, you're going to smell sand. I'm kidding. You're not going to smell sand. I don't know what sand smells like. Sand, I guess, has the smell of the water that is uh, on it and interacting with it, I suppose. But uh, um, <clears throat> I like it. It's supposed to smell like La Nuit de Lome. Now, I don't have La Nuit de Lome, but I have smelled it in department stores and this is definitely in that vein it's sweet but it's still fresh this is not bubblegummy but it is sweet so okay and i guess that's the cardamom so um is it seductive and is it blue i think it is i think it is i think it's very accurately named and um I like it for 15 bucks. Let me say, it's awesome. And uh, by the way, I did the same thing with this. I sprayed it on my arm last night before bed, woke up and I could smell it distinctly on my arm in the morning, eight, nine hours later. So it definitely fades, stays close to the skin, but for 14, 15 bucks, and I think you could get the 100 ml, um, I think they're floating around as well for 20 bucks. So for that price, wow. And I don't have anything else that smells quite like this. I do have a Lamal Summer Edition, and it's not, it's, this is in the same vein as that, um, but it's not the same. There's, this has more spicy 
kind of warmth to it. So um, I think it's two winners. I spent 35 bucks on these fragrances yesterday and I've got two. If this was my daytime and this was my nighttime and I wanted to wear just two fragrances from May 1st to the end of September or Labor Day, uh, this might cover you. This might cover you. You know, I think you could you could wear this to the office and you, you could wear either of these to the office and you could certainly wear this one at night on a date, whatever. It's really, really nice. Um, and I think they both uh, have excellent longevity. So you don't have to spend a ton of money to smell good, folks. The main thing you want to do is you just don't want to smell like a jerk out there. I, I think maybe I did for better part of my life. I smelled like a just a jerk walking around planet Earth. How can I even do that to others? To myself. I owe it to myself to smell better, to get whiffs of something more pleasant than my natural odor. So I recommend these. I do. I do. I think, you know, if they were way more expensive or a lot, even moderately more expensive, I'm not sure I would. But for the price, 20 bucks and 15 bucks or 20 for the 100 ml for the gas, I think they're fantastic buys and I would certainly add them to your collection as something that you'd wear from time to time if you've got a few uh, fragrances and if you're um, just starting out, wow, you know, you could do a lot worse. I will say that. And in fact, I have done a lot worse. So I hope you'll join me. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel. We're going to have a lot of fun, like I said, and uh, I'm going to be doing some giveaways. I'm going to be doing, I've got, I've got a whole notebook full of ideas for videos that I'm going to do. It's going to be a lot about fragrances and it's just my perspective. Like I said, I know I am not an expert, but I do have an opinion and I think everybody's opinion, just like it is with music or art or dance or anything that's an art form, everybody's opinion is valid and um, you know everybody's going to be a little different so join me we'll uh, we'll go on this deal together i hope you'll comment subscribe and uh, stay with me this is music city fragrance i'm scott we'll see you in the next one thanks